In a small town where whispers travel faster than truth, everybody knew that Maria Spencer wanted to kill her ex-husband, Frank. It was not a matter of if, but when that would happen. Yet, Frank never saw it coming. Stay with us as we explore the gruesome events, two deranged killers, as well as the psychological factors that trigger this tragedy. In the picturesque town of Millville, Pennsylvania, Frank Spencer and Maria Sinuti Spencer's story began with promise. They eloped in 1997, a union that brought two children into the world and dreams of a long, happy life together. However, as the years passed, the fabric of their marriage began to unravel, leading to a protracted divorce initiated by Frank in 2006. In 2008, Maria was arrested following an altercation with Frank's mother at her daughter's school and faced charges including disorderly conduct, harassment, and child endangerment. She pleaded guilty and paid a $600 fine. Maria's behavior became a source of concern, with allegations of threats against Frank's life emerging. These threats extended to suspected acts of arson against Frank's mom's house, though charges were not immediately pursued. Right after the arson, Frank received this text message from Maria. Karma is a wonderful thing. You destroy my life. I feel a lot better. Since your whole life went up in the fire, makes it fair. In 2009, as Frank started a new relationship with Julie Dent, whom he had met through common friends, she too became the target of Maria's fury. One night, as she was sleeping, she heard the breaking of glass. Seconds later, as she went to check, a fireball burst into the staircase. Julie jumped out of the window to save her life. The fire was ruled an arson, but despite strong suspicions of Maria's involvement, no charges were again filed. The backdrop of this domestic turmoil was further complicated by the involvement of Maria's father, Anthony Rocco Franklin, whose disdain for Frank was palpable. His alleged threats, while incarcerated, added a sinister layer to the unfolding drama, hinting at the depths of the family's animosity. On June 30, 2010, an announcement was made in the newspaper that Frank and Maria were finally divorced. This was the last straw for Maria and the last chance for Frank to escape. The peaceful morning of Tuesday, July 3, 2012, in Bloomsburg was shattered by a grim discovery that would forever alter the fabric of the community. Frank was found dead at his home. The nature of his death was brutal and calculated, an execution-style murder that bore the hallmarks of deep-seated personal animosity. Frank was shot once in the torso with a 30 caliber rifle and fatally in the head and neck from close range with a 357 Magnum handgun. This indicated the premeditation and cold-blooded intention behind the act. His body, discovered by a close friend two days later, had been dragged inside the house, a final indignity that spoke volumes of the killer's contempt. The investigation quickly zeroed in on two primary suspects, Maria Spencer, Frank's estranged wife, and her father, Rocco Franklin. The community was aware of the bitter divorce battle and the numerous accusations that had flown between the couple, but the brutality of Frank's murder brought a chilling new dimension to their story. Evidence gathered at the scene pointed towards a meticulously planned assassination. A sniper's nest found approximately 115 feet from Frank's front door indicated the level of planning that went into executing the murder. Furthermore, Frank's truck was located a day after his body was discovered, abandoned a few blocks from a bar owned by one of Maria's family members. The case against Maria and her father began to solidify as investigators pieced together the motive, means, and opportunity that linked them to the crime. In July 2014, Maria Sinuti Spencer was arrested and charged with Frank's murder and more than a dozen other charges including arson, burglary, perjury, conspiracy, and making terror threats. Rocco Franklin couldn't face the same consequences as he had fled to Colombia and South America a year prior. However, that would soon change. Disclaimer, the following points are only speculations and do not reflect a professional psychological analysis. While these psychological factors provide some context, they do not excuse or justify criminal behavior. 
Maria Spencer's actions might have been influenced by emotional and psychological instability as indicated by the tumultuous nature of her marriage with Frank Spencer, the multiple domestic disputes reported and her previous arrest for an altercation involving her child and Frank's mother. Such instability can lead to impulsive decision-making, aggressive behavior and the failure to consider the long-term consequences of one's actions. The persistent threats to kill Frank Spencer, as reported by him and witnessed by others, suggest a deep-seated anger and possibly a desire for revenge. This could stem from feelings of betrayal, rejection or injustice perceived by Maria during and after the divorce proceedings. The human psyche is capable of harboring intense emotions which, when unchecked, can lead to destructive behavior. The involvement of Maria's father, Anthony Rocco Franklin, points to a potentially complex family dynamic. The influence of family members, especially in situations involving crime, can significantly impact an individual's decisions and actions. The broader context of Maria's life, juxtaposed with the criminal proceedings, highlights the clash between her public persona and her private turmoil. The societal pressure to maintain a facade of normalcy while dealing with personal and legal challenges can exacerbate stress, leading to extreme actions as a form of coping or escape. Maria's insistence on her innocence and a portrayal of herself as a victim of her father's sociopathy can be viewed through the lens of psychological defense mechanisms. Denial, rationalization and projections are common strategies used by individuals to cope with guilt, shame or internal conflict. These mechanisms might obscure the individual's ability to perceive their role in the events objectively. The trial, held a year after Maria's arrest, was an intense affair, lasting two weeks. The courtroom was a battleground where the prosecution presented a detailed case highlighting Maria's alleged threats against Frank, the forensic evidence linking her to the murder, and the testimony of witnesses. Central to the prosecution's case was the evidence of the sniper's nest found near Frank's home and the ballistic analysis that tied the murder weapons to Maria and her father. It also included Maria's DNA in a glove found at Frank's place. After two days of deliberation, the jury returned a unanimous verdict. In November 2015, Maria Sanuti Spencer was found guilty on all charges, including first-degree murder, and was sentenced to life in prison without parole plus 50 years. In her statements to the court, Maria maintained her innocence, expressing love for Frank and disbelief at the accusations leveled against her. Despite her conviction, she has pointed to her father as the person responsible for Frank's murder, suggesting that if he did commit the crime, it was not on her behalf. Anthony Rocco Franklin was found in Argentina and extradited back to the United States. On December 28, 2018, he was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, plus 11 to 45 years after being convicted of first-degree murder and other charges related to Frank Spencer's death. The conviction of Maria Spencer and her father, Rocco Franklin, is the result of when the justice system works at its best. This pair should never ever see the light of day as they were and will never be fit to live in society. What do you make of this case? Can you even comprehend how evil a person could be and not feel an ounce of remorse for killing another human being? Thank you for joining us today on Casual Evil. Remember, you always pay for your crimes, one way or the other.